presentations that we had today. That was a really, really broad range of topics. I think we learned a lot about um, local best practice stories, um, and uh, we that raised also some. We, 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 there were also some questions that have been raised. So maybe, hopefully, we are able to to answer these questions. Um, some of them also uh, already have been raised by Claudia this morning. And we also heard some general things about um, skills and competencies of our generation of new professionals. So I think there's really a lot of food for thought for you right now regarding that. And right now you see on our schedule, there's the last bullet point which is saying group discussion. Actually, we don't have that much time left right now. So we can do several things. Originally I thought that we would maybe build some groups around these presentations so you could talk with the presenter a little more about his or her topic. But right now I'm not sure if this is going to work uh, if we have only like 20 minutes left. So I'm going to ask you right now, do you have any questions regarding one of these presentations or are there any issues you want to add to this uh, range of topics? All right, over there, Sarah. So how did um, the presenters uh, know about presenting it for next year, maybe for the presentation through your group? And um, so are they on second, were they here last year, or at IFLA last year, and that's how they found out about it? Or? No, it's not directly like that. So we every year we, we have a program at the IFLA Congresses, the NPSIG. And we use um, lots of different online channels to communicate to the global <coughs> professionals community, like our Facebook page and our blog and um, all these channels. And we try to reach out to the people via these channels. So in this case, we just published the call for papers everywhere we could do that. And um, we had luck that so many people were aware of this uh, call for papers and uh, responded with really, really, really nice submissions. So. Right now you know what this is all about and next year you will be maybe aware of our next session but again and again we have to do that kind of outreach to the people so it's it's always like that. Luida, Luida you want to say something about that? Further, uh, like you said, um, the new professionals also have a listserv. You can go to the e-club website and you can see all the different listserv at least. And it's exactly the name. Uh, it's And if you are looking at the registration desk, I think we also have some leaflets um, regarding all these channels that you could, and you could check these leaflets with you and, and check these results later on. For example, Dirk, as you have seen, uh, recorded all the presentations, and if you're okay with that, we would uh, put them online so all the people that could not make it to IFLA this year could have a closer look at the presentations later on. Yeah. Are you interested in anything? Uh, are you want, do you want to know more to um, have something like a bar camp at the IFLA Congress? I'm not sure if you're used to this kind of um, conference. Um, during a bar camp or unconference, um, this is another term for this, people just come to one place, there is no pre-scheduled um, program and all the attendees will talk about what they want to hear or what they want to present on site and the program is being built on site at this place. And we want to do something like that in Helsinki or in Finland next year, and we call it IFLA Camp. So um, for this reason I can't... Um, well, there's, it, it will be pretty different from this session, of course, uh, because of what I told you just now. But we are already working on that. It will take place in Heimenlina, which is north of Helsinki. Here you can see the Heminlina uh, Convention Center, for example. And we plan to do some really different stuff than now. For example, we plan to go outside, maybe a little bit like the Cycling for Libraries initiative, which was right this year. Maybe we have a walk outside and do a walking conference, or we do some other interactive formats during the IFLA camp inside. So you are really welcome to join us next year at IFLA camp, of course. And um, if you are, um, registered at our channels or 
going to if you're going to our Facebook group, you will have all the updated information on hand. I'm sure we will do also something more next year, so maybe there will also be some kind of other session or a reception for new professionals. Um, it's still far, far away, so we have to, to plan all that right now. <coughs> tells you that you are not alone, and um, you will always find somebody else from a totally other part of the world that maybe has exactly the same problem or thoughts than you have, and. Um, Maybe she, he or she has some other resources or limited resources and she or, um, has some really total different solution that you didn't think about. So this is what I observed during the whole four years right now. And uh, also speaking in general, people are really, really open, um, especially for new first timers, for students, for new professionals. So not only the NPSIG is a really good place to get active at IFLA, but also other committees like you professionals are, this is in general about professionals, but regarding content and other subjects, all the other sections are available for you as well. So, well, thank you very much for your comment. All right, regarding the transportation back to the conference center, um, you see, you've seen, I did not see.